guys welcome back to a new video today i'm going to be showing you how to do a underwater slash muffled effect um you could use this for like cinematics that are underwater for example uh, i got a request on this for on my last video and it got a few likes so i decided why not just do this effect tutorial so how we're gonna do this is pretty simple so we're gonna basically go ahead and Basically, this is a song without the muffled effect. And for example, let's just cut out this part and we're going to make this part muffled and this part's just going to be regular. What you're going to want to do is you want to select this thing. Select the part of the audio that you want the f effect on. Go to the Fairlight tab, which is the audio tab. Yours might look a lot different from this, but it's really basically the same select the part where you want the effect again and you want to just go ahead and select on the eq here just click on it double click on it yeah and this should pop up and what you want to do is you want to drag number five and number two for number five we're going to drag it to negative uh 15 or the line above negative 20 which is over here and then we're going to want to do is drag it to 1k so it should be at 1k and negative 15. You want to do the exact same thing for number 2 but opposite. So what you're going to want to do is go to 500. Drag number 2 all the way to negative 15. And 500. And boom. This should be how the effect will work. And we're going to want to do is just close it. Go to add the tab, and what you're going to do is after you cut the clip, you want to drag this audio part to the second tab, because if um, the f the fear light audio effect was on the entire first channel, not just this part, so after you drag it to a different audio tab, it won't have the effect. So this is how it's going to sound. So yeah, that's pretty nice. So you might want to have like, um, I don't know, you might want to have this effect on for like underwater cinematics or just cool effects. Um, it, it works really well on the mass transitions. Uh, when you put this effect on the mass transitions, I've seen a lot of people do that and it's really cool. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it will help you out and peace.